the second season of Empire's SMP set over a thousand years after the events of the first, you might think that there are no important connections between the two seasons, but I think that is the furthest from the truth. Can we learn anything about the server today by looking to the fallen empires from the previous season? What connections can we make whose legacies shaped the server into what it is today? And could any familiar faces make their return? Today, we will take a journey through time and find out. School is in session. Last season of Empires saw the adventure of Wizard Gem or Gemini Tay of the Crystal Cliffs as she cast spells and fought the corruption of the server as she tried to seal away the mighty demon known as Zarnath. In episode 21 of her series, Wizard Gem became the headmistress of the Crystal Cliffs Academy of Wizardry, where she began teaching magic to some of her new students. With Zarnath sealed away in an amethyst crystal, the server was finally at peace, so all things looked good for her new school to prosper. Little did she know the disaster that was coming. The Grimlands had been destroyed. After trying to create a new codhead for Jimmy the Codfather at the Grimlands Forge, Count Fwip overloaded the reactor by mixing the forbidden combo of salmon and codfish, wiping his empire right off the map and starting the end of the world. With nowhere to turn, Fwip went to Jem, his sister, for help. Escaping on the back of a dragon, Fwip, Jem, and the newly hatched Ender Dragon baby, Violet, flew to a far off land where they could start the new life. But with Wizard Jem gone, the new school was without a headmaster. Thankfully, as it turns out, Wizard Jem's pet cat Gandalf was secretly a wizard in disguise. Now in control of all crystal cliffs, Gandalf made a place where all magic users could come to learn their craft. A few thousand years into the future, Shubble has introduced us to her character, to the new season of Empire's SMP, the young witch Shelby of the Great Witch Academy. As the resident witch of the Evermore, Shelby studies magic and uses her abilities to help the rest of the server. Shelby is constantly under the watchful eye of her headmasters, and she fears that she is only one magical slip-up away from being required to hang up her witch's hat forever. Just like Wizard Gem in Season 1, Shelby is still learning about her magical powers and worries about the dangers of them getting out of control, like when she recently pulled the server into a parallel universe from a magical mishap, or when she gave Goblin Fwip a new set of ears. Is it possible that Shelby could be a long-lost descendant of Wizard Gem? Could the Crystal Cliffs Academy of Wizardry and the Great Witch Academy be related in some way? Aw, wait for it. Could Wizard Gem be the one who turned Lizzie into a cat? We don't know for sure, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Great Wizard Gem showed up in one of Shelby's magical history books. Can you dig it? Well, Pixel Riff certainly can. Taking the role of the server's archaeologist in season two of Empires, Pixel Riff wants to learn about the civilizations before his own time. In his first episode on the server, Pixel Riff describes how the once great empires of the past have now fallen and new empires have risen to take their place. However, unlike the rest of the players who are looking to the future of the server, Pixel Riff wants to uncover mysteries that lie in its history. Forsaken by its people long ago, Pixel Rift's empire is becoming a huge capital city made up of crumbling stone ruins in a savanna biome. His most notable structures include an expansive great bridge and the recent addition of some abandoned catacombs. The ancient civilization currently does not have a name and Pixel Rift's has not yet told us how it came to fall apart when thinking about the greater law of the server. But wait, an ancient civilization? This sounds a little bit familiar, doesn't it? Could it be possible that there is some form of connection between the civilization that once populated Pixel Rift's empire and Joey Graceffa's lost empire from the first season? If you need a reminder, Joey ruled the lost empire in the jungle biome in season one. The empire, based on Aztec architecture, was populated by feline-like villages and it was also known for its temples dedicated to the worship of the four elements, fire, water, earth, and air. Each element had a totem to go with it and when each totem was mysteriously destroyed, Emperor Joey dedicated himself to restoring the elemental balance by rebuilding each of them. However, while under the control of his demonic husband Zarnath, Joey also wanted to bring corruption to the rest of the server. But Joey was eventually freed from Zarnath's mind control when Catherine Elizabeth removed the crown from around his head. The lost empire ultimately fell with the explosion of the Gremlins, and Joey, believing that Jimmy and Fwip destroyed the server on purpose, once again put on the demon crown to get his revenge. 
leaving the lost empire to be how it always was meant to be. Lost. Could it be possible that Pixel Rifts is currently uncovering the remains of the lost empire or another culture closely tied to it? Even if there is no connection between the two empires, we still have to question what could have caused Pixel Rifts empire to fall. Is it possible that like many of the other empires in season 1, it was destroyed when Jimmy and Flip exploded the Grimlands? Or did some other disaster cause its people to flee? We also have to wonder what Pixel Rifts will find as he continues to dig deeper into the server's law. Could his character be the key to learning how the other empires fell? Will he unearth the remains of empires such as the Ocean Empire, Mythland or Rivendell? We can only hope that Pixel Rift will excavate the truth of how these empires fell because as the saying goes, History that is not learned from is doomed to repeat itself. <laughs> note, this next one was recorded before Ollie's new video, but keep watching to see if I guess correct. Something familiar could be coming to the Empire's SMP, or should we say someone familiar? As I'm sure you guys saw in a recent video on my channel, there is something peculiar going on in the end dimension on the Empire's SMP. When Fwip, the cave goblin, discovered that the end portal frame had already been lit, he called a server-wide meeting where the SMP players discovered that the ender dragon was already dead. If you are a fan of season 1, that thought might send shivers down your spine. Following the Great War for the Codfather's head in season 1, the Codfather Alliance, composed of Solidarity, LD Shadow Lady, Catherine Elizabeth and Pixel Rifts, fell into the end dimension with only one way out. They would have to kill the Ender Dragon. Little did they know that the Ender Dragon was holding back an even more dangerous enemy. After being joined by Joey Graceffa and Mythical Sausage, the Codfather Alliance battled against the Wither Rose alliance in a fight for the life of the dragon. After a long scuffle, Joey landed a killing blow on the dragon, releasing the demon Zornoth into the Empire's SMP. The last we saw Zornoth, he had been released once again thanks to the Grimland explosion, and he and Joey went off to have evil journeys together. Has Zornoth come back to create chaos in the Empire's SMP once again? Having over a thousand years of time to create havoc on the world surely would tire you out, right? We have a million questions and more, but one thing's for sure, if the end dragon is still dead, then Zarnath is still out there. Seriously guys, even take a look at this tweet by Fwip. It's time for Empire Season 2 to move out of the early game. People have had enough time to build up their empire by now, right? Chaos can start, right? Oh, it already has. Good, good. Guys, I'm scared.